What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. So today we are continuing our sway bar or our suspension installs on the Mark 7. <laughs> So I added a little touch of me to the sway bar. Uh, we actually went with an OEF plus design. The reason why I went with this is because Emmanuel Design actually uh, does a adjustable 23 millimeter or 22 millimeter sway bar. But if you get DCC GTI um, or DCC suspension, then you actually get a 22 millimeter sway bar to begin with. So it's a nice little OEM plus uh, kind of feel to my car. Also adding um, some ECS end lengths to go with these um, because my car is lowered and I want to make sure that I adjust for that. Today I'll be showing you guys how to install the sway bar, how to install the end lengths um, so that way if you're lowered, um, your sway bar actually functions the way it should. So if you guys are having issues with uh, installing springs and then having your car kind of sway a little bit more than you used to, um, first start off with the end lengths and adjust the preload. Uh, because your car is sitting lower, uh, it actually uh, screws with the OEM end lengths. So uh, if you get the end lengths and you can adjust them and adjust the preload, you'll do a little bit better. I'm taking it a step above and uh, doing a slightly thicker sway bar to give me a little bit more tightness when going around corners or uh, going around spe uh, high speeds and uh, switching lanes, things like that. So um, we want to prevent that from happening. So today we're going to install this sway bar. Looking underneath the car, um, I'm actually using some ramps today uh, because uh, in order to set the preload, you actually have to set it on ramps so that way the car can sit at its uh, bare bottom level. And, uh, and you can adjust the end length uh, preload so that way it works well with your lowered suspension and you're not getting any rocking. The end links are gonna be right here. You're gonna remove this bolt and uh, a top bolt uh, that's over there as well. And then on the inside up here, uh, you see this little bracket that needs to come off. Uh, same thing on the other side. I don't know if I'm gonna have to drop uh, this exhaust hanger here, but hopefully I don't. Um, so let's get to this. You're gonna need some special tools for this. Uh, I'll put a link in the description of the bits that I have. From the looks of it, I am gonna have to uh, take off this exhaust bracket over here so that way it allows the uh, downpipe, the uh, pipe to kind of slide down and uh, I can remove this because after you remove all six bolts, uh, this thing just kind of dangles on top of this. So you need to move this out of the way so you can slide this out. After you remove this clamp, you'll find that it's very easy to uh, slide this out of here. All you gotta do is just kind of work it around and twist it and bring it out. So that's that. Uh, so the install is pretty much the uh, opposite of the removal. I wanted to show you uh, these two bars. Um, so this is the OEM 20 millimeter uh, sway bar. This is the DCC uh, OEM sway bar. This one's much cooler because it's got a hashtag caffeine team a sticker there just wanted to show you these uh new ecs uh end links uh that i got here so the bushing on these is much better um it's sort of i think it's a polyurethane uh bushing on there and to install them is actually very simple you pretty much just look at the stock one you have two washers um and it's going to get installed exactly the same way so you push it in from the inside and you put the locking washer on and you put the bolt in and then you just pretty much just tighten up so i'm actually going to leave them loose just so i can play around with them uh, when they are when they are inside the car just twist this to adjust the height that you need and then you lock this in by twisting this right here so it's always good to leave this loose um, so that way you can sort of spin it around bro you got hashtag race car yeah. ah, i don't even look nothing of race car tire I was, it's weird because I don't wear freaking I don't have vinyl on the car ever and it's just I'm getting used to it it's loud so it's hashtag race car. I can't do anything stupid now all right guys so just finished uh, installing the swise bar uh, jr14 swam bar the swam bar, swung bar. some bar um, all right so it's all done uh, yes. I think the biggest pain in the butt was uh, actually doing the top bolt on the uh, adjustable end links but other than that it really didn't take long that long it took me probably longer to jack up the car and put on the ramps so uh definitely had to remove uh, that bracket or that seat that clamp from the exhaust just to drop everything down um other than that 
Eh, everything went down pretty smoothly. The hardest part of this was actually installing your, your caffeine team sticker. Uh, yeah, I showed him that and it was bomb. And you put it on upside down. Don't worry about it. It's, <laughs> nobody's gonna see anyway. That's right. Once you drive like in New York for about 20 miles, it just gets dirty. <laughs> bro, look at them exhaust tips, bro. Mm. I still got some good grip. Can you do a full fist? Oh, you can do a full fist. Oh. Wow. Really? So, dude. So, dude. All right, so we're actually going to uh, hit the road and uh, test this out because I want to see if it made a difference at all. Ah. Get the car off the ramps and uh, I'll see you guys on the road. You're out of the video, bro. <laughs> You gotta oh, like. You're crying right now. You you're gotta crying. get closer because my lens ain't wide enough. Oh, I just said I need a wide lens to see Jay. Oh. Now nah, we'll put that. In. Whose man's is this? <laughs> Whose man's? Yo, did you see that video or that picture on Instagram where somebody was like, uh, some guy was falling asleep in a white Mark Seven, and they were like, "Whose man's is this?" No. It was in the Mark 7 forums. It, it wasn't uh, you because I thought it was you. Nah, I want me. I don't fall asleep in Mark 7s, bro. I'm, I'm shifting, bro. I'm shifting in Mark 7s. All right, bye bye. All right, so yep. right off the bat, I can tell you it's 150% better. Why are you yelling so much? I don't know. I, you know what? I have to drive the car for a little bit to know whether it's going to be good or not or so, whether it's good or not. So I was just like talking what is the smack. I was like, what is the aspect of still yelling since you got to drive the car a little bit? I don't know. It's 150% better. So uh, we're popping and banging. Um, all right, that sounded a little weird. <laughs> popping and banging. All right, we're just popping and crackling. Guys, uh, I mean, I've only been driving it for like 30 seconds, <laughs> but it definitely feels a lot more planted. Um, I'd have to see how it does around corners like this. Oh, bro, it's a million times better. The cop's gonna pull me over and be like, dude, why are you swinging around? Don't I mean, is it just oh. me, but when you're learning a new language, you always learn all the bad words first. Like, I bet you know all of the Spanish bad words. Or like, <laughs> a bunch of them. You do, right? Yeah. Uh, it's just a thing, like, you... Like, yeah, people do. in this world are just angry and they want to learn all the bad stuff first. I mean, I usually learn it from movies that I'm not supposed to watch. When I was younger, my parents oh, said, like don't that. watch this Ooh, movie. Hello. My brother's like, don't watch this movie, and I end up watching the movie anyway, and I'm just like, ah, I'll just store those words to when I'm old enough, and then I'll say them. And then, you know, my friends at that time will correct me on what they mean, and then I'm like, oh, I'm good to go. Yeah, I gotta test it, you know, and you it, gotta, it feels like there's a lot less out. body roll. Um, even in normal mode, where the steering wheel is nice and loose, and I can, like, you know, you know, move it around and stiff, um, it definitely feels a lot better. I told him to do so, this months ago. I know, but... You know what, you also told me to just get an aftermarket one, and I went OEM, bro. So yeah. what I did with the, um, I think the ECS end links make a big difference. Yeah, I saw the stock ones. The ECS end links make a big difference because um, I, I kind of like put them to the tightest setting. So it kind of evens things out and, and stiffened up the rear. <laughs> This is not gonna be a family video. It's this is like, gonna be a great video. Oh this gonna, it's gonna get at least a thousand likes. In it the better first get a thousand likes. Five days. You guys are mad difficult. First impressions, day one, are definitely all positive. I think uh, if you guys are looking for OEM plus feel that's gonna stiffen up the rear a little bit, um, I think the 22 millimeter DCC sway bar is a really good option. If you already have it, then maybe just get the ECS end links and uh, if you're dropped then you can kind of tighten up the car a little bit. I think I got it on ECS for about a hundred and twenty dollars and then uh, I picked up the end links also uh, on top of that so mm. yeah so if you guys like this video uh, make sure you guys hit the like button down below if you're not following JR14 you probably are uh, go ahead and follow him um, also my Instagram uh, I would have posted at the beginning but I'll post it up right now uh, down below right here right right here I'll see you in the next video. Thank you very much for watching. Peace out.